mountains and rivers, give birth to a brilliant human civilization. However, it also hinders the pace of human communication development, and the emergence of bridges connects the region and facilitates people's daily travel. It can be said that without a bridge, there is no universal traffic network. Now China has a total number of bridges of over 1 million. With its strong infrastructure capacity and overall national strength, China has built several bridge projects that have shocked the world. For example, the world's longest cross-sea bridge the Hong kong zhuhai macau Bridge, the world's highest bridge in the world the Beipanjiang Bridge. As we all know, China has a large number of ambitious, talented, and hard-working engineers. They have devoted their life and wisdom to this great country and created countless world records, built an incredible bridge, which makes people sigh and be shocked, so China is called the father of world bridges in the world. Not long ago, China successfully built an arch bridge with the largest span, a gift to the world. Now let's take a look at the endless wisdom of Chinese bridge engineers in arch bridge construction. It is a magnificent steel structure concrete arch bridge, 1,035 meters long, with a 575 meter span and more than 15,000 tons of high-strength steel. To build the bridge, Chinese engineers have used a number of world-first technologies. The structure of the bridge comes in many forms, and before this, China used the traditional flat bridge deck and column pier technology. The Beipanjiang Bridge uses suspension bridge technology, but what we are talking about in the bridge is arch bridge technology, which uses a huge steel structure arch to withstand the weight of the bridge deck. Western bridge builders were at first very surprised when they saw the bridge. The technical problem is difficult to overcome because you want to build the arch bridge with a span of more than 500 meters. Bridges with large span in the world generally use suspension structures or traditional structures, but this time, the steel structure arch bridge spans 575 meters. Such no large span arch bridge has been successfully built in the world, except China. So why does China use such a design? In fact, the reason is simple, because this design is best suitable for the local environment. The bridge is located in a complex geological structure, and the soil layer on both sides of the river is not strong. From the top down is a powdery soil layer and a strongly permeable pebble layer, the foundation of the bridge needs to be excavated to more than 40 meters to ensure the safety of the bridge. If the traditional rope bridge design is adopted, the entire weight of the bridge will be supported by the piers on both sides, which can easily lead to the collapse of the piers and then the collapse of the bridge. If the arch bridge design is adopted, large support points can be set on both sides of the steel structure bridge arch so that you can bear the pressure of the bridge thus ensuring that the bridge does not happen for decades. When the bridge is built, the milling machine and the gripper are used to make a groove, dig out a groove section, and then place the steel cage inside, and finally pour it with concrete. Even if the foundation conditions are poor, the foundation of the arch bridge is built directly above the pebble layer by connecting the wall round and injecting mud into the pebble layer. This application provides a reference experience for arch bridge construction under poor geological conditions. To build the bridge, Chinese bridge engineers used a lot of new technology. For example, a new self-compact non-shrinkage composite expansion concrete was developed. In the past, the arch bridge construction method mainly used the bracket construction method. Build the arch ribs on the bracket, close it, and then remove a bracket. With the development of technology, China has more and more experience in building bridges, and this bracket construction method has fallen behind. Today, China has created a more advanced construction method, which uses scathless cable lifting system. With the development of modern transportation and the increasing size of arch bridge span, the original construction method of building arch bridge support is not only costly, but also risky. This method is no longer suitable for building those bridges with large arch diameter. To build such a large span arch bridge, the key is the production of the arch ring. The production of the arch ring is all completed in the steel structure factory. We see that 2,538 cylindrical structures are being produced and processed in the factory. 
These steel tubes would eventually splice into the arches of the bridge. These arches are just such pieces of thickness, 35 mm steel plates before entering the factory, so the error control is extremely critical. So how did these steel plates become arched circles? The first step is to conduct spot check inspection of materials. The second step is the material feeding. Now we see is the digital control flame cutting machine. Using these cutting machine to open the steel plate, the purpose of opening the slope is to arch ring converter docking so that the steel into a hole. Then through the large mechanical circle, a piece of steel plate rolled into an arc surface so that the arch ring is done. Then, through the calculus thinking of direct substitution of curvature, the huge arch circle manufacturing becomes a reality in the hands of engineers. With the completion of the foundation pouring on both north and south, the main arch ribs of the bridge began to be transported from Jiangmen to the construction site through 603 kilometers of water. But it is not very easy to assemble the hundreds of tons of steel skeletons. But in the face of difficulties, Chinese engineers never bow to difficulties. We saw mud tank trucks filled with concrete driving into the construction site. Finally, with the efforts of Chinese engineers, the world's largest span arch bridge was successfully assembled. In addition, the bridge uses Beidou positioning technology, with multiple precision sensors on its arches. It can easily obtain the Beidou positioning data of up to mm level and monitor the shape of the bridge arch at all times. If the shape of the arch is found to be deformed, the active control technology is used to restore the arch to ensure the safety of the bridge. The completion of the world's largest span arch bridge once again lets Western bridge experts see China's current strong bridge building strength. Nowadays, China's bridge construction is being paid more and more attention by the world. Behind the bridges, it is the silent efforts of generations of bridge engineers. With the rapid development of the times, China is also moving from a bridge power to a bridge power. The achievements of China's bridge construction and technological progress are the crystallization of the talent, wisdom and sweat of bridge engineers, the enhancement of China's comprehensive national strength and reform and opening up. China's bridges have witnessed the transformation of the Chinese people. What do you think of China's construction of the world's largest arch bridge project? Watch this review and tell us what you think. Enjoy!